everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Lakeside Beanie, which I have my sample one here in front of you. Now this is a lightweight beanie made with a light DK weight yarn and uh, it's also a snug fitting beanie so there's no slouch to this one at all. It's sized to fit an adult head with about a 20 to 22, 23 inch circumference. There's a little bit of stretch to it. You can add a pom pom to the top if you'd like. But as you can see here, uh, one is also not needed if you desire. The beanie is worked from the bottom up. I'm using a Rowan felted tweed yarn in three different colors. Each of these balls uh, is about 50 grams, which is about 191 yards. You're only going to need half to three quarters of each of these balls. Again, using three colors. In my sample, I use the Sea Salter shade, the Maritime shade, and the Scree shade. I'm going to switch it up a little bit in the video today. I'm also using a four millimeter crochet hook and links to both of these items can be found in the description of the video. Also there in the description, you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. There are many other crochet beanie patterns here on my channel. So uh, let's get started and work our lakeside beanie. Our hat design is worked from the brim up. So we're going to start by taking our color A. I'm using this darker blue. Make a slip knot. And then you're going to start with a foundation chain and for your foundation chain you're going to want to chain 90. If you would like to change the size of your beanie you're going to need a foundation chain with a multiple of three. So Go ahead and chain 90 chains. Once you have chained 90 chains for your foundation chain you're going to be careful not to twist your chain and join with a slip stitch into that first chain. You're then going to chain one and for round one you're going to single crochet into the same stitch as joining and then single crochet into each chain all the way around. When you come to your first chain, join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. At the end of round one, join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. Making sure once again that your chain is not twisted. We're then going to continue working in the same direction and for rounds two, three, and four, you're going to chain one and into the back loop only single crochet in that first stitch and in each stitch around. So when you're looking at the top of your stitches you have your front loop, let me see if I can pick it up here, and you have your back loop. So your front loop is the loop on the top of the stitch that's closest to you and the back is the furthest away. So inserting your hook under that back loop only single crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come back to your first stitch, join with the slip stitch. I just join under both loops in that first stitch, chain one and repeat. You're going to work three rounds of these single crochets in the back loop only and then meet me back here at the end of round four. At the end of round four, this is what your work looks like. I'll get my tail out of the way there. Your band is now complete. We're going to start working the body of our hat. So for round five, you're going to chain four, and this counts as a double crochet stitch and a chain one. You're then going to double crochet back into the same stitch as joining. This is your V stitch, a double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. You're then going to skip 
the next two stitches and v-stitch in the next stitch. So in the next stitch, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet back into the same stitch. Repeat that all the way around. Skip the next two stitches into your next stitch, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. When you come back to your final, around to your final stitch, you're going to switch to your color B and I'll show you how to do that as I come around. So skip to V stitch in the next stitch and repeat all the way around. When you come all the way around, at the end of round five, I mentioned you'll be switching to your color B. So when you're working your final V stitch, you have your double crochet, your chain one, and then you'd work one more double crochet into the same stitch. In this stitch, we're going to change color. To do so, you're going to yarn over, Insert your hook into that seam stitch, yarn over, drop a loop. We're still working in our color A. Yarn over and draw through two loops. You can then drop your color A, pick up your color B and place it on your hook and pull through. You're now all set to continue working in your color B. You're going to join with a slip stitch into the third chain of that starting chain four. And then slip stitch into using your color B into the chain one space of that first V stitch. Now for round six, we're going to chain one with our color B just leave the color A attached. We're going to pick it up when we come back around. With your color B chain one, we're now going to work a V stitch working over top of the chain one space and into the same stitch as the V stitch down below. So yarn over, bring your hook in front, insert it into the same stitch as the V stitch down below, yarn over, draw up a loop, to the height of your double crochet, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, chain one, and then repeat double crochet back into the same stitch as that first V stitch and complete your V stitch. You're then going to continue working V stitches around into the same stitch as the next V stitch. So yarn over into the same stitch as the next V stitch, work a V stitch. Double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. These first few rows are a little bit uh, challenging in the sense that they like to bunch up. As we work, they will straighten out a bit. So continue working V stitches working into the same stitch as the next V stitch in your color B all the way around. When you come all the way around, we're going to switch to our color C just as you did before, before joining with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. So at the end of round six, we're going to join our new yarn in our final stitch. You can then drop your color B and then join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. You're then, with your color C, going to slip stitch into the chain one space. 
Now we're going to continue working V stitches, except this time it's a little bit trickier in this seventh round. With color C, we're going to chain one, and we're going to work our first V stitch, but this time we're working in the chain one space of the V stitch two rows below. So we're working in the chain one space of the V stitch that we worked in our color A. So you might need to pull it apart a little bit, but double crochet just into that space below your color A V stitch, chain one and double crochet. You're going to continue working V stitches into the chain one space of your V stitch two rows below in each V stitch all the way around. So V stitch then into the chain one space of the next V stitch two rows below work another V stitch. When you come back around switch back to your color A and then join with a slip stitch in your first stitch. At the end of round seven, you've jo joined with a slip stitch in that first stitch. You're working with your color A. For round eight, we're going to start slightly differently than we did the last two rounds. We're simply going to chain one, and you're now going to work a V stitch over the uh, same spaces joining and into the space between the same stitches joining and the previous stitch of the row two rows below. So you're working under your color B stitches and you're working in that space between your last V stitch and your first V stitch of the row two rows below. So yarn over, insert your hook down into that space, yarn over, draw up your loop, and pull it up a little bit taller, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two, chain one, and then double crochet down into that same space to complete your V-stitch. You're then going to continue working V-stitches in the spaces between the next two V-stitches all the way around, always inserting your hook two rows below under that uh, color B V stitch. So we have one here in our color C. There's our color B. Insert your hook just into that space between the two V stitches and work a V stitch. Repeat that all the way around, switching to your color B in your final stitch and then joining with a slip stitch into that first stitch. At the end of round eight you're going to join your color B in your final stitch and join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. You're then going to slip stitch into that first chain one space. For round nine, with color B, chain one, and we're going to work our V stitch, this time working in between the two V stitches, two rows below, in the space between them. So you'll kind of have to pull them apart a little bit, yarn over, insert your hook into that space between the next V stitch and the one previous, Yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, chain one, and then complete your V stitch. You're then going to, working over the chain one space of the next V stitch, and in between the two V stitches, two rows below, you're working under your color C, insert your hook, and work a V stitch. So they should be lining up with your color A V stitches down below. You're going to repeat that all the way around, working over the next chain one space 
and into the space between the next two V stitches, two rows rounds below, work a V stitch all the way around, switching to your color C in your final stitch, and then joining with a slip stitch into that first stitch. At the end of round nine, you've joined your color C with a slip uh, into your final stitch, joined with a slip stitch. With your color C, slip stitch into that chain one space and chain one. We're now going to work V stitches once again. We're going to be working over top of this next chain one space and this time into the chain one space of the V stitch two rows below. So this is the chain one space of your color A V stitch. You're just going to bring your hook down, insert it in that chain one space and work your V stitch. Into the next, over the next chain one space of the next V stitch and under the chain one space of the V stitch two rows below, work another V stitch. Continue working V stitches in this way all the way around. When you come back to your first stitch, join your color A, or yeah, in color A in your final stitch, and then join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. At the end of round 10, you've joined with a slip stitch in that first stitch and you've switched back to your color A. Now for um, four more times, you're going to repeat rounds 8, 9, and 10. So this is rounds 11 through to 22. You're simply going to go back and repeat your rounds 8, 9, and 10. Your round 8 began with the chain 1 and then a V stitch immediately down into that space between the next V stitch and the previous V stitch two rows below. And then V stitches in the space between the next two V stitches two rows below and repeat that all the way around. So that was your round eight. Repeat rounds eight, nine, and 10 four more times that will bring you through to the end of round 22 and then meet me back here and we will start the decrease in our hat. At the end of your repeats, you'll be at the end of round 22. This is what your beanie from the beginning will look like. For round 23, actually before we begin round 23, if you would like your beanie to be a little bit taller, so I mentioned this one has no slouch to it, but if you would like it to be a little bit taller, you can continue doing repeats. If you would like uh, this current beanie uh, measures about eight inches tall when it's laid flat. So if you'd like it again to have a little bit more slouch, just continue that repeat a little bit more. Once you're ready to start the decrease in your hat, you'll finish your repeat. You're actually going to repeat round eight once more. So back in your color A, repeat that round eight beginning with that V stitch in the space between the next V stitch and the previous one, followed by working V stitches in the spaces between uh, the next two V st stitches, two rows below, all the way around. Once you have done that, then we're ready to start the actual decrease rounds of our beanie. So go ahead, repeat that round eight one more time in your color A. At the end of this round, you will uh, switch to your color B once again. For 
round 24, you're here with your color B. We're going to slip stitch into the chain one space of that first V stitch and chain one. We're now going to work V stitches in each of our next four V stitches, working into the space between the next two V stitches, two rows below. So we're going to work four V stitches in total. There's one, two, three, and four. Once you've worked your four V stitches into the next chain one space, over the chain one space, into the space between the two V stitches, two rows below, you're simply going to work two double crochet stitches. So there's no chain one in between, just work two double crochets. You're then going to repeat. Work one V stitch over each of the next four V stitches, followed by two double crochets in the next chain one space, working into that space between the two V stitches, two rows below. This is my third. And then one more V-stitch for four. And over my next chain one space, simply work two double crochet stitches. Repeat that all the way around, switch to your color C, and join with a slip stitch in the first stitch. At the end of round 24, you join your color C, slip stitch into that first chain one space and chain one. For round 25, we're going to begin by working our V stitch into the chain one space, two of the V stitch, two rows below. And we're going to work four V stitches. And there's one, two, three, and four. Then into the next chain one space, two rows below, in between these two double crochet stitches you're going to work a single crochet stitch. You're then going to repeat. Work one V stitch in the uh, chain one space of each of the next four V stitches, two rows below. There's one. Two. three and four and then once again working over top of those two double crochet stitches in between them and into the chain one space two rows below work a single crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way around switching to your color A in your final stitch and joining with a slip stitch into that first stitch. At the end of round 25, you've worked your final single crochet into the center of your final V stitch there. You've joined your color A and you're going to chain one. For round 
26, we're going to begin by working a V stitch into the same space as the previous single crochet. So you're going to be moving your hook back a little bit and into that same space, work a V stitch. You're then going to skip the next V stitch and into the next space, two rows below, work a V stitch. We're working now in our color A. We're going to work a total of three of these. So there's one, skip the next V stitch in the next space, two rows below, work your next. There's two and one more for three. You'll then see that your next two stitches are your V-stitch and your single crochet. So we're going to skip that V-stitch. And instead of working in between the next two stitches, we're going to work once again over top of that single crochet and into the same space as the single crochet and work a V-stitch. right over top of that single crochet. We're now going to repeat. Skip the next V-stitch into the next space, two rows below. Work a V-stitch and do that a total of three times. You will then come to your single crochet. Once again, work a V-stitch over top of that single crochet and into the same space. We're going to repeat that all the way around. And when you come to your final stitch, switch to your color B and join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. At the end of round 26, you've switched to your color B. You're going to join with a slip stitch into the first stitch of that first V stitch. Using your color B, slip stitch into the center, into the chain one space of that first V stitch. Now working over top of that V stitch and into the single crochet stitch, two rows below, we're going to chain one and work simply two double crochet stitches. So we're just working into the top of that single crochet. That's two rows below. Work two double crochets. We're then going to into the center of our next V-stitch, working over top of that chain one space, and into the space between the next two V-stitches, two rows below, work a V-stitch, and you want to do that three times. One in each of the next three spaces. So there's one, into over the next chain one space, there's two, and three. Your next V stitch is going to have the single crochet there down in the center. So in your next V-stitch, working over that chain one space, we're going to work two double crochet stitches into that single crochet. Work three more V-stitches. We're now going to repeat. So working over the next chain one space, into the space between the next two V-stitches, two rows below, work a V-stitch and do that three times. Your next V-stitch will have the single crochet there down in its center. So into this next V-stitch, working over that chain one space, work two double crochet stitches. 
Repeat that all the way around in your final stitch, switch back to your color C, and join with the slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. At the end of round 27, we've changed to our color C. We're going to slip stitch into the space between the first two double crochet stitches and chain one. We're now going to begin by working a single crochet over top of the space between the two double crochet stitches and into the space two rows below. So we're just simply going to work a single crochet. We're working in our color C. You're then going to work three V stitches into the chain one space of each of the next three V stitches two rows below. So working over top of that chain one space, work one V stitch to the next V stitch into that space two rows below and our third one into that space two rows below. You're then going to come to your next two double crochet stitches. We're once again going to work a single crochet, working over top of the space between the two stitches into the space two rows below. We're just working, inserting our hook underneath that color A and work a single crochet stitch. We're going to now repeat that all the way around. Work one V stitch in each chain one space two rows below in each of the next three V stitches. And then work one single crochet stitch over top of the space between our next two double crochets. Repeat that all the way around, switch to your color A and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round 29, with our color A, we're going to chain one. We're then going to work our first V stitch, once again working under that first single crochet stitch and into the same space down below. So insert our hook under that first single crochet and work one V stitch. You're then going to skip the next V stitch and into the space between the next two V stitches, working two rows below, work a V stitch. And repeat, skipping the next V stitch into the space two rows below between the next two V stitches, work one V stitch. You will then have come to your single crochet stitch just as we did before, inserting your hook under that single crochet stitch into the same space, work one V-stitch. We're now going to repeat that all the way around, skip the next V-stitch into the next space, two rows below, work a V-stitch, you want to do that twice. You'll come to your next single crochet, work a V-stitch over top of that single crochet stitch and into the same space down below. Repeat that all the way around, switch to your color B and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round 30, we're going to, with our color B, slip stitch into the first chain one space and chain one. 
We're now going to work two double crochet stitches working over top of this chain one space into the space, uh, into the single crochet two rounds below. Work two double crochet stitches. We're then going to over the next chain one space and into the space between the next two V stitches, two rows below, work one V stitch. We want to do this two times. So there's one. Then over the next chain one space, into the space between the next two V stitches, two rows below, work another V stitch. Over your next chain one space and into the single crochet two rows below, work two double crochet stitches. You're then going to repeat over the next chain one space, into the space between the next two stitches two rows below, work a V stitch and repeat. Over your next chain one space and into the single crochet, just into the top two rounds below, work two double crochet stitches. Repeat that all the way around, joining your color C in your final stitch and joining with a slip stitch into that first stitch. For round 31, using your color C, we're going to slip stitch into the space between the next two double crochet stitches and chain one. You're going to begin round 31 then with a single crochet into the space, uh, the chain one space, two rows below. You're then going to into the neck over the next chain one space and into the chain one space two rounds below of your next V stitch, work one V stitch. You're going to repeat that once more over the next chain one space, under the next chain one space, two rows below, work a V stitch. You'll then have come to your next two double crochet stitches. So working over those two double crochet into the chain one space, two rows below, work a single crochet stitch. We're going to repeat that all the way around over the next chain one space, into the space two rounds below, work one V stitch and do that two times. And then working over the space between your next two double crochets and into that chain one space down below, work a single crochet. Repeat that all the way around, switching back to your color A in that final stitch and joining with a slip stitch. For round 32, we've joined our color A, going to chain one. For round 32, working over top of this first single crochet and into the space just below it, work your first V stitch. Skip the next V stitch into the next space, two rounds below, between the next two V stitches, work one V stitch. You'll come to your next single crochet stitch, once again working under that single crochet into the same space, work one V stitch. Skip the next V stitch and into the space two rounds below, insert your hook between the next two V stitches and work a V stitch. You're going to repeat this all the way around switching to your color B in that final stitch and joining with a slip stitch into your first stitch.
For round 34, we're going to, with our color C, slip stitch into the space between those first two double crochet stitches and chain one. Now working over top of that space and into the chain one space two rounds below, work one single crochet stitch. Over top of your next chain one space and into that chain one space two rounds below, work one V-stitch. We're going to repeat that all the way around over top of the next space between your two double crochets and into the chain one space two rounds below. Work a single crochet and then over top of your next chain one space into the chain one space two rounds below work a v-stitch. Repeat that all the way around switching back to your color A in your final stitch and then joining with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round 35, we've almost come to the end of our beanie. You should see it nicely closing there up at the top. For round 35, we're going to chain one, working over top of this first single one crochet stitch and into the space just below, two rounds below, work one V-stitch. You're then going to continue working V-stitches over each single crochet all the way around. So skip the next V-stitch into your next, uh, into the next space below the next single crochet stitch. Work another V-stitch. And repeat. Skip the next V-stitch into the next space below the next single crochet work a v-stitch. Repeat that all the way around changing to your color B in that final stitch and joining with a slip stitch in your first. At the end of round 35 once you've joined your color B you can go ahead and fasten off your color A and actually your color C as well. What we're going to do is slip stitch into that first chain one space with our color B, chain one and now into the single crochet two rounds below work two double crochet stitches using that color B. You're going to repeat that all the way around so over top of the next chain one space into the next single crochet two rounds below work two double crochet stitches. Repeat that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into your first stitch and we're going to at this time fasten off our color B leaving a long tail. So I'm going to continue working all the way around here two double crochet stitches in each single crochet. one chain one space here left so join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch and then fasten off leaving a little bit of a long tail you're then going to turn your beanie so that it is inside out and at this time you can go ahead and weave in any ends that you might have left from earlier and taking your yarn needle we're simply going to close the top of our hat. So taking your yarn needle weaving your needle and yarn in and out through the tops of the stitches you're just going to work your way around the top of your hat all the way around and this is just going to give it that nice close so that you can wear this beanie with with or without a pom-pom. 
keep going all the way around. Once you've come back all the way around, you're then going to simply pull the top of your hat closed. I like to secure it with just a little bit of a knot before you go ahead and tuck in that tail. Once you're done, tuck in your tail a little bit. Fasten off, turn your beanie right side out. And that's all there is to working the lakeside beanie. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, check out some of the other crochet beanies here on my channel and enjoy the one that you just completed. Thank you so much and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.